Welcome back to Poeto Beach in Cagliari, Italy, where we join day four and the decisive penultimate day of the Kiteboard Youth and Masters World Championships. We expected some epic races, and that's what we got. Yeah, tomorrow will be medal races. We're going to be doing four races, counting normal. We, we are able to, to compete and to sail in almost same conditions. Maybe we need seven, eight knots to start, but we can compete until 40 knots. So the wind range is quite big and I think it's, uh, the class is pretty ready to, <clears throat> to join the Olympics in, in Tokyo. The top 10 riders in each of the youth and masters fleets at the end of the day would advance to Sunday's four-race medal stage to decide the world champions. The kiteboarding racing format is similar to that used for Olympic sailing, supporting kiteboarding's mission to be added to the event lineup for the 2020 Olympic Games in Tokyo. It would be really, really good for the kite surfing. Like, uh, it would attract even more people than it does now. I think at the moment, uh, kite surfing is what windsurfing was in the 80s. And I think, like, with uh, kiteboarding being Olympics, even more people would join the racing also. So it would be really good for the sport. The day opened with the Masters Silver Fleet, where Erwin Gruber, father of the kiting star Florian, again flourished in the conditions to knock out a winning performance of three bullets from four races. In the Masters Gold Fleet, series leader Wilson Veloso from Brazil secured two race wins and one second place finish as he dueled with Poland's Tomek Janiak. Third place on the leaderboard remains wide open, with many contenders in with a shot to claim the bronze medal in tomorrow's championship deciding day. Amongst the likely frontrunners for the bronze is Spain's Pedro Carrijo Velasco, who found his form yesterday and was back on pace today, winning the first race of the day. In the youth fleet, Maxime Nocher, the young gun from France, delivered an astonishing performance, a monumental full house of aces, four back-to-back -back wins in the four races. Florian Trittle from Spain had been waiting for this moment to attack, and today he executed a perfect strategy, outfoxing Poland's Max Zakowski in two of the races, finishing in second place behind Maxime, and also securing a fourth place. Elena Kalinina from Russia took every advantage from the decrease of breeze and powered around the track to twice finish in third overall and clamber up the leaderboard to qualify through to tomorrow's medal race. Max's scoreline gave him two second and two third places, so he has lost some ground on his title quest, but with four medal races tomorrow, the podium is still wide open. Sunday heralds the final day of racing here at the Kiteboard Youth and Masters World Championships in Cagliari, Italy. We are looking forward to another intense day of racing and crowning the 2014 World Champions. Stay tuned!